Today we're going to look at how to make a figure of eight splint to prevent boutonniere deformity using Orphicast thermoplastic tape. Here we're using the 0.8 inch width piece, cutting a strip of it, warming it up, and folding it over itself in thirds to give increased stability. Once folded over in thirds, you now have a very stable strip of material that's going to provide you the support you need to resist PIP joint hyperextension. Once the material is warmed, now you can mold it to the patient, beginning the strip at the middle point of the proximal phalanx of the involved finger, wrapping underneath the PIP joint and then over the middle phalanx of the finger, crossing underneath the PIP joint and then finishing at the proximal phalanx. Pinch the ends of the material together to close the loop and finally pinch underneath the PIP joint. This is an important step to ensure that there will be adequate space for full PIP joint active flexion once the material is hardened. Now you can trim the excess material with a scissor. Once the material has hardened sufficiently, you can remove the splint from the patient's finger and smooth out any areas that are rough using a heat gun. Once your edges are smooth, you're gonna replace the splint on the patient to check for fit. For easier donning, you can pinch the two ends of the splint together slightly while advancing over the finger to get over the PIP joint. Once in place, check that the patient has full flexion at the PIP joint, but you can see here that the splint is limiting hyperextension at the PIP joint. 